Hi guys, Mike Everest here from the 10th Essex Marine Atmosphere Society and Portals to the Past. Today we're going to be taking a look at some simple drill techniques from 1914 to 1918. We're going to be looking at the real basic stuff today, so just some simple stuff for the rifles. We'll be going through some really easy techniques and so we can all brush up on some of our, uh, some of our drill to make our parades look nice and spick and span. We're going to be looking at falling in, we're going to be looking at slope arms, order arms, port with an inspection and we'll finish off with a general salute as well. So the first thing we need to do is we need to cover falling in, okay? Now, when we fall in, a lot of regiments will do it in slightly different ways. They'll be looking at things like height order. Sometimes you'll have an NCO either side, okay? But uh, the, the important thing is we fall in at a, we're going to be falling in quickly and sharply, okay? It's not a rush. We're not trying to argy-bargy ourselves out of the way, but we're trying to get in to our line quickly. And you always fall in at the attention, and then, once you're ready, you come to the ATs. So simple as that. So we're going to fall in, okay, and then straight back, not sticking your chest out like this. You're not a pigeon chested soldier. It's nice, straight back, you should be relaxed, and coming to a tease. All drill from 1914 is about conservation of movement. None of this sharp swinging of arms all the way up. We're not going to be moving around too quickly, okay? So we don't want to be stamping our feet like a modern army. This is 1914 we're looking at. Okay, so. The first proper drill piece we're going to be looking at is the slope arms. Now the first thing we need to do is we'll be coming to attention. Now, you'll hear this said in numerous different ways. People often say, attention, or you'll often get squad, squad shin, like that. So they'll contract the two words together. And what you're listening for is that shin bit, and that's where you're going to come together. So there'll be squad, squad shin. Feet come together sharply. We're not going to be slamming our feet together, okay? We're not like the uh, like the Germans in things like Where Eagles Down, okay? So it'll be squat, squat, shoot, come together like this. And the first command we're going to give is slope arms, okay? So I'm going to show you once, and then I'm going to show you in parts, okay? So the first part is this, you ready? So we're going to go squat, slow, arms. Okay, easy as that. Now, we're going to do this in part by part, okay? So here we go. The first part is this. Your rifle should be just at your toe there, okay? And then the first part is this. So it'll be squad, slow, arms, rifle comes up here, okay? Right hand just beneath the trigger, and the left hand just beneath this part of the sling. That's the first part. Second part, bring the rifle sharply across, and your left arm should be at 90 degrees like this, okay? Your hand clutching the bottom like this, and then the third and final part, bring the arm sharply across. Okay, let's do that in timed sequence, and here we go. So, you ready? We're going to count it in with one, two, three, one, two, three for the time. Squat, slow, arms, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Easy peasy. All right. Okay, so let's take this from slope arms to the order arms. Okay, so the Effectively, we want to get the rifle back down to our feet, okay, and here is how it's going to work. So, squad, order, arms. So as easy as that. What we're looking at doing is, let's bring it up again. First action we're going to do is this. Arms going to come down like this, with the hand coming up all at the same time. That's our first action. Second action is to bring the rifle across with the left hand just beneath the bayonet lug. If you've got a stack swivel on your rifle, it'll be just beneath that. It's just above the ground, perhaps by two or three inches off the ground, and then the rifle grounds itself, and you bring the hand across. We do not slam the rifle on the ground, okay? It's a very, very precious piece of equipment during the Great War, so the rifle will just gently hit the floor. The biggest trick with all drill from the Great War, if you're on parade, is don't sit there, and if you've made a bit of a cock up, don't sit there, oh bugger, if you've made a mistake, just carefully correct it, and nobody will notice, okay? So remember, you are trying to do this, and a majority of you will not have had two years worth of basic training to kind of get you through this. Okay, so let's try it again with the one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's come to the slope first. So it'll be squad, order, arms, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Easy as that. So you see that rifle will just slowly make its way to the floor there. Again, we're not striking the floor as though we're kind of trying to hammer our way to Australia. Okay, so next up, we're gonna go from the order arms, okay, 
So from here, back to the slope, and then run from a slope to a port arms. And this is how we're going to be carrying the rifle. This is a very, very important method. Okay, so, squad, slope, arms. Okay, so to move it to a port arms, this will be for an inspection or moving forward on the battlefield. This is what we do. So with the slope arms, it'll be squad, port, arms, like this. Okay, so the final position will be right hand here, left hand just in front of the block. And with this is where we're going to be able to move forward into combat, okay? We're going to be looking at keeping the rifle around about just in front of our heart. It keeps the most amount of metal between us and the Germans, okay? Now, the trick with all Great War reenacting, okay, is to not hold your rifle like this, okay, all the time. You'll see some guys trying to do that. Please don't. When you're advancing into combat, the majority of photos, in fact, the vast majority of photos, will show the soldiers advancing like this, or with their rifles at the trail, okay? So the high port is the perfect way. And the last thing you wanna see people doing is clutching their rifles like this. That's a very, very modern technique, and we shouldn't be seeing that at all. So, let's go through the port arms in slow, okay? So with our arms at the slope there, squad, port, arms, one, two, three, one, two, three, easy peasy. Okay, now, sometimes you might hear a sergeant or an NCO say, for inspection, port arms. This will be to clear your breech blocks, make sure you've got no rounds in the, uh, in the chamber, and making sure we're gonna do a quick inspection. So, it'll work like this. Squad, for inspection, port arms. The rifle is now open. Hand is at the butt here, okay? And then you will have an NCO or a chosen man will move down the lines, okay? And then he will be checking to make sure you have no rounds in battery and you'll have nothing in there, okay? So we're gonna clear and ease the springs, all right? So what we'll do is you'll have an officer, an NCO will say clear, ease springs, at which point, cycle the action a couple of times and then close the chamber, okay? Holding the trigger at the same time so it's now safe. Okay, to go from the port back to the slope, it's as easy as this. Slope, arms, simple. Okay, right. Now sometimes you'll see different techniques of porting arms for inspection. Even you'll see them with their rifles like this. And the thumb will be placed here at the base, so at the, at the front of the bolt, like this. And you'll have an NCO who will look down the barrel just to see the light reflecting off the thumb. You'll see that every now and then, and that's quite a nice thing to do for the public when you're seeing a soldier moving down the lines, checking that everything's clear. Okay, so let's close that up. Now, it's parade season at the moment. We're in the 1418 centenary, so let's be looking at doing something important with our salute, our general salute. This is gonna be a present arms and a general salute. Effectively, the final position we want is this. So let's do it nice and sharp. Squad, general salute, present, arms. Easy as that. And then it will come back to a slope arms, like this, like that. Notice my feet will move their position ever so slightly as well. From this kind of duck bill position, they will move ever so slightly to an almost perpendicular position like this, okay? But your fate, your chest is still straight on, but your right foot is ever so slightly behind, okay? So let's do that by the numbers. Squad, general salute, present, arms. Nice and easy. Let's try that one more time with the numbers. General salute, present, arms. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So just to go through that, it's quite a tricky one to do. So your hand comes across here, just as though you're about to port. The rifle comes up like this, and your left hand flat on the sling just above the magazine, like this. And then when you turn the rifle down like that, that's when your right foot goes, and the sight aperture at the front should be just a couple of inches in front of your nose. If it's too far away like this, it'll actually look more like this when you're uh, down the line. Try and keep it as straight and as vertical as possible. And so, once we've got it like that, nice and easy to move back to our slope arms and then from our slope to our order. 
Okay, thanks for watching guys. We'll be doing some more of these videos, looking at some more, te uh, more complicated techniques. So going from port to order, and we'll be looking at bayonet fighting as well with some of these videos. This has been a Two Mics production. Thank you very much.